गुड इवनिंग एवरी वन यू आर ऑल वॉर्मली वेलकम टू आवर यूट्यूब चैनल साइंस वॉरियर्स सो टूडे वी केम विथ अ वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग एंड वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट वीडियो द टॉपिक ऑफ ट्रेडिशनल डेयरी प्रोसेसिंग मेथड्स ओके नॉट ओनली दैट बट ऑल्सो थ्रू आउट आवर यूट्यूब चैनल यू कैन गेन लॉट ऑफ इंपॉर्टेंट फैक्टर्स एंड यू कैन गेट टू नो लॉट ऑफ इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग्स based on food science and nutrition so if you would like to watch them also there is a link in the description you can watch them also yeah so today i am going to do this video with a presentation it will be interesting one to you so we are going to explain what are the traditional methods what are the equipments we use in dairy processing technology and what are the products that we can do based on this traditional dairy processing techniques so i think it will be interesting to you all so let, without wasting our time let's go for our video about dairy processing yeah. first i would like to explain you what is dairy industry normally we all know that dairy industry is the production of milk on dairy farms and the processing of milk and milk products at a dairy plant make up the dairy industry all along with this producing many kind of milk the industry makes butter cheese yogurt as well as ice cream so there are a lot of products based on dairy industry and it is this industry is very popular here i would like to explain briefly on the dairy processing history in 2300 years ago a Greek physician Hippocrates recommended milk as a medicine and it is developed with time a lot yes in the separation method dairy plants control the fat content of their products with separators we extract the desired percentage of butter fat or cream from the milk the Milk remaining after cream has been removed is known as skim. Yeah, now we are coming for the second step. It is pasteurization, so it is very popular in the world right now. So, in milk products today, the pasteurization or process of this pasteurization is very popular, and it uh, from this heat it will kill harmful bacteria. Then the homogenization. It is also an important step. From this homogenization step, we break down the fat globules into minute particles. So it gives a homogenized mixture. Finally, further processing. It depends on the type of product that we are using. So according to the product, we have to add some vitamins or add. We have to, sometimes we have to concentrate or we have to do. the things like that uh, finally we can do the packaging and do the output to the industry yeah now i would like to explain the traditional equipments yeah when we consider the traditional equipment separate is very popular but here we are going to separate the milk a separate is a centrifugal device that separate milk into cream and skim milk here i have given the traditional photo of it also yeah before the new technology come or the centrifugal separators come separate separation was performed by letting milk sit in a container until cream floated on the top and could be skimmed off by hand so that is the traditional way of separating and after that different machines come with the technology development Then I would like to move for the next machine or next traditionally equipment. They are traditional churners. So here we are using those things to distribute milk uh, from one place to another place. This is also a very popular and very ancient type of equipment, and we are commonly using this in milk production. Now I would like to explain the traditional methods. First, I will take fermented milk. 
This is a collective name for products such as yogurt, cultured buttermilk and many more. Depending on the type of lactic acid bacteria used and several other substances are formed in conventional process and these use the product their, uh, their unique characteristics, fresh taste and aroma. Yeah. In Africa, the general processing method for fermentation milk in southern and eastern Africa is to filter the dough milk into small clay pots or bottle guard and transfer the vessel into a warm place until the milk sour and coagulated. The sour taste and coagulation give that process. In frame, batches of milk may be added each day with previous removal of whey until the ground or clay pot is filled. So this is the traditional method we use. Yes, this is another method that we can use and traditional method. This is used for small treatment of milk utensils. In some areas, the hot smoking tips are introduced into vessels and were inside 3 minutes with the lid and the process is clearly given in the diagram. Yeah, then we would like to come for curd starter. Fermented rice is a traditional prebiotic consumed in many parts of India as well as Sri Lanka. It is prepared by smoking cooked rice in water overnight. The next day, water has recently sober fermented smell and contains bacteria that can be used a starter for fermentation milk into curd. Yeah. This is a very important and very popular traditional methods that method that we are using. Here, here I mentioned the procedure how it goes like. First soak rice in two cups of water overnight. Authentically, we use earthen pots. Try to use an earthen pot to experience the best cooling effect. Next morning, add plant-based milk and mix well. Add salt, chopped onion and green chilies. Serve in eastern pots or tumbles for breakfast. This is a wonderful and nice like, traditional method that we are normally practicing. Yeah, now I would like to consider the butter production, traditional production. Here, uh, normally this is used in southern and eastern Africa. Butter and ghee is closely associated with technology of fermented milk. Yeah, this is because most of the traditional butter is made by chewing and fully soft whole milk wheat could also be used consumption as a whole milk fermented drink. This is also can for, uh, consumption like that. Yeah, in here also we are explaining different ways that we can use butter production, traditional ways that we can use that butter production, traditional milk. And here, in Middle East, how uh, we, I'm explaining how Middle East people of traditional method of butter production. Here, from here I would like to explain about ghee. Ghee is oriented in India before recorded history. Means he has a large and long history. And at a factory scale, modern processing equipment is used is made either from cream butter or directly from cream. Yeah, finally butter salty. This is also another traditional uh, dairy product we can see in the market also. In the yogurt, basically we are using clock bag method. Clock bags are traditionally used in many countries for concentrate and production of straight yogurt by explosion of wave. Way. Uh, here, centrifugation and ultrafiltration gives better production. Yeah, in generally, we can use buffalo milk, normally we call it as mikiri. It's a traditional and nutritious dairy product prepared from buffalo milk and it is 
uh, popular throughout Asian countries such as India, Pakistan, Sri Lanka and Nepal. Mostly clay pots are used as packaging material for buffalo milk. Here I would like to quickly explain the advantages and disadvantages of these traditional methods. When we move to the traditional methods, the cost is very low and suitable for small scale production and good profit palatability, they are the advantages. When we move to the disadvantages, the slow hygienic conditions are very low, labor intensive, low yield, not suitable for large scale production. I can, we can consider those are negative impacts or disadvantages. Yeah, here are the reference that, uh, here are the reference that I use. Thank you. Yeah, thank you very much for joining with us. So let's see, meet again with another very important and interesting video. Stay tuned.